paying a long overdue visit to Lake and Heath Fen today. It must be at least three years since we last came here. It's one of the few places in Britain where you can see golden orioles, but there are none here at the moment. The RSPB reserve here covers quite a large area, and it's quite a hike from the car park and the visitor centre up to the first watch point. And then it's about the same distance again to the next watch point. But since our last visit, a brand new hide has been built around about halfway between the two watch points. Well, it looks like the forecast was correct, light rain and brighter periods. Let's head out on the reserve, see what's around. Notice there's a lot of these uh, mayflies in the air. And lots of male common blue damselflies. And there's a few bigger dragonflies buzzing overhead. And also on the vegetation, lots of these female nursery web spiders. Well earlier I mentioned about the new hide and on the boardwalk that leads up to the hide you come across this grit tray which has been put here for the benefit of bearded tits. They eat mainly insects in spring and summer but in winter they change their diet to seeds and they need grit in their crops to help grind up the seeds. Well unfortunately no bearded tits on view today from this new hide. The kingfisher did pay a fleeting visit but couldn't get the camera on it. So it was mainly coot and their offspring on view today. Only a few feet in front of the hide which allowed us to get these ultra close-ups of the young. And also not forgetting this male little grebe resplendent in its full breeding plumage now. Well as expected at Lake and Heath Fen we saw hobby and also good views of marsh harriers. Both males and females and this is a male that I've got in frame at the moment. Also on view here today, white throat. So far this year we haven't had really good views of white throat, but they're certainly showing well here today, and this is by far my best footage for 2015. Well, when we arrived here this morning, the car park was absolutely full and lots of people continued to arrive throughout the day, many of them training their scopes, binoculars and camera lenses on this patch of reed bed, because hidden somewhere among the reeds is a very rare bird, a little bittern, and it's the first sighting of a little bittern in Suffolk since 1979. It has been showing regularly, but unfortunately we weren't lucky enough to see it, but we could hear it faintly in the reeds, it makes kind of a a cross between a bark and a croak. Sounded a bit like a distant barking dog. Well, courtesy of my bird book, this is what we didn't get to see. A little bitten, and this is the male. And I think it's a male that's here at Lakenheath. No little bitten, but I did get to see a bitten, which flew up out of the reeds, but uh, couldn't get the camera on it, unfortunately. Well, as we were scanning the reeds, looking for the little bitten, this male cuckoo flew across, and I managed to get some footage of that and one or two other birds as well. As soon as we got here this morning we constantly heard cuckoos and we've seen them flying regularly, both males and the brown females. And I was able to get this footage of them perched, which is probably the best footage of cuckoos I've ever got. Well, the amount of cuckoos arriving in the UK seems to be falling and the thought of a spring and summer without that familiar call is unimaginable, so I'll leave you with that. <laughs> 